Listening Part 1 Practice Tests for Cambridge English Qualifications A2 Flyers Copyright HarperCollins Publishers 2018The Collins Practice Tests for Cambridge English Qualifications A2 Flyers Listening Test. Test 1. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Uncle David, look at this picture of our picnic last weekend. Wow! What a great picnic! Can you see Michael? There he is, next to the car. Is he the boy in green and black striped shorts? Yes, that's him. He's eating an apple. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that boy? The one who's sailing his boat in the river? Yes. Who's he? That's William. He wasn't happy later because he fell in the river. Oh, dear. What's William's mum called? Helen. There she is. She's got long brown hair and she's holding the baby. Did the baby like the picnic? Well, he slept all day, so I don't know. And there's my best friend. She's called Katie. Which one's she? She's a girl who's wearing a blue T-shirt and a purple skirt. She's flying the kite. That looks fun. Yes, it went very high. Robert brought his dog on the picnic. Can you see him playing with his dog? Is he wearing a red hat? No, Robert is the boy who's under the tree. He's wearing brown trousers and a green sweater. Oh, yes. That dog is very big. Yes, he is. Who's the boy who's eating a sandwich? Do you mean the boy with the straight brown hair? No, I mean the boy with curly blonde hair. Oh, that's Jack. He's in my class at school. Oh, OK. I'm happy you had a good time with your friends. Now listen to part one again. Who's that boy? The one who's sailing his boat in the river. Yes. Who's he? That's William. He wasn't happy later because he fell in the river. Oh, dear. What's William's mum called? Helen. There she is. She's got long brown hair and she's holding the baby. Did the baby like the picnic? Well, he slept all day, so I don't know. And there's my best friend. She's called Katie. Which one's she? She's a girl who's wearing a blue T-shirt and a purple skirt. She's flying the kite. That looks fun. Yes, it went very high. Robert brought his dog on the picnic. Can you see him playing with his dog? Is he wearing a red hat? No. Robert is the boy who's under the tree. He's wearing brown trousers and a green sweater. Oh, yes. That dog is very big. Yes, he is.
Who's the boy who's eating a sandwich? Do you mean the boy with straight brown hair? No, I mean the boy with curly blonde hair. Oh, that's Jack. He's in my class at school. Oh, okay. I'm happy you had a good time with your friends. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Good morning, children. I'm going to go somewhere very exciting next week. Ask me some questions about what I'm going to do. Then write down what I say. Okay. Who wants to ask me something? I do. What's your question, Alex? Where are you going to go, Miss Peter? I'm going to go to London, Alex. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Wow, what are you going to do in London? Good question. There's a lot to do in London. I'm going to visit three museums because I love history. And where are you going to stay? I'm going to stay in a lovely hotel next to a river. And what's the name of the hotel? Well, it's called the Grange Hotel. That's G R A N G E. Who's going to go with you? I'm going to go with my sister. I always go on holiday with her. Any more questions? Yes. How long are you going to stay in London, Miss Peter? Um, I'm going to go from Saturday to Thursday, so that's six days. Anything else? And are you going to drive to London? No, I don't have a car. So I'm going to go by train. Now listen to part two again. Wow, what are you going to do in London? Good question. There's a lot to do in London. I'm going to visit three museums because I love history. And where are you going to stay? I'm going to stay in a lovely hotel next to a river. And what's the name of the hotel? Well, it's called the Grange Hotel. That's G R A N G E. Who's going to go with you? I'm going to go with my sister. I always go on holiday with her. Any more questions? Yes. How long are you going to stay in London, Miss Peter? Um, I'm going to go from Saturday to Thursday, so that's six days. Anything else? And. Are you going to drive to London? No, I don't have a car, so I'm going to go by train. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Michael has cleaned his bedroom and has found lots of things. Where did he find each thing? Hey, Mum, I've cleaned my room. Come and see how tidy it is. 
Well done, Michael. Wow, it looks great in here. I can see the floor again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Very funny, Mum. Look at all these things that I found. I haven't seen them for a long time. Here's my camera. Where did you find that? It was in my rucksack. I took it with me when we went on the class visit to the castle last month, and didn't take it out when I got home. Great! You can take it camping next weekend. Oh yes. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What else did you find? Here's the torch that I got for my birthday. I thought it was in my cupboard with the shoes, but it wasn't. It was on the shelf behind some books. How did it get there? I've no idea. I'll take that camping too. Yes, you'll need it. And look what else I found. It's William's DVD. It was behind my computer. Oh dear, you've had that for months, and you must give it back to him. Yes, I know. I'll give it to him at school tomorrow. Okay. Did you find anything else? Yes, I found my favourite football. How can you lose a football, Michael? I don't know. I thought it was in the garden, but it was under my bed. I'm very happy to find it again. And look, do you remember this? Oh yes. It's the toy train you had when you were very young. You played with that all the time. Where did you find that? It was under my shoes in my cupboard. I don't want it any more. Shall we give it to Robert next door? That's a great idea. He loves trains. Did you find your missing green umbrella? I looked under the stairs for that last week and couldn't find it. You'll need to take that camping too. Yes, I did. Great. Where was it? It was behind the armchair, under some magazines. Okay. Well, maybe if you clean your room more often. You won't lose so many things. I'll try, Mum. Now listen to part three again. What else did you find? Here's the torch that I got for my birthday. I thought it was in my cupboard with the shoes, but it wasn't. It was on the shelf behind some books. How did it get there? I've no idea. I'll take that camping too. Yes, you'll need it. And look what else I found. It's William's DVD. It was behind my computer. Oh dear, you've had that for months, and you must give it back to him. Yes, I know. I'll give it to him at school tomorrow. Okay. Did you find anything else? Yes, I found my favourite football. How can you lose a football, Michael? I don't know. I thought it was in the garden, but it was under my bed. I'm very happy to find it again. And look, do you remember this? Oh yes. It's the toy train you had when you were very young. You played with that all the time. Where did you find that? It was under my shoes in my cupboard. I don't want it any more. Shall we give it to Robert next door? That's a great idea. He loves trains. 
Did you find your missing green umbrella? I looked under the stairs for that last week and couldn't find it. You'll need to take that camping too. Yes, I did. Great. Where was it? It was behind the armchair, under some magazines. Okay. Well, maybe if you clean your room more often, you won't lose so many things. I'll try, Mum. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where does Katie want to go? Dad, can I go to the beach with Sarah today? Well, I need to go to the supermarket. And didn't you want to go to the library later? Oh, Dad, I don't want to go to the library. Please, can I go to the beach? Oh, okay. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Who is going to go with Katie and Sarah? Who else is going to go with you and Sarah? Sarah's mom is going to take us. What about Sarah's little brother? Is he going to go? No, he's gone to visit his grandmother today. Two. What time will Katie be home? And what time will you be home? Well, it's ten o'clock now, so we'll probably get there at about twelve o'clock, and we'll want to have a few hours to play. So I don't think we'll be home until half past six. Is that okay? Yes, it's the weekend, so that's fine. Three. What's the weather like today? It's very sunny today. It's a great day for the beach. Yes, it's very hot as well. So drink lots of water, won't you? I will. I can't believe how sunny it is after all the rain and wind we've had this week. I know. I got wet in the rain yesterday, and I'll get wet in the sea today. Yes. Four. What is Katie going to wear? What are you going to wear, Katie? I want to wear my purple and pink spotted dress. Yes, good idea. Where is it, Dad? I put it in your cupboard next to your striped shorts. Okay, I'll go and get it. Thanks. Five. What snack is Katie going to take? Can I take a snack to the beach? Yes, of course. What would you like to take? Um, can I take some chocolate? No, we don't have any. How about some apples? Sarah doesn't like apples. Can I take some cookies? Okay, you can take the cookies we made yesterday. Great! I can't wait. Now listen to part four again. One, who is going to go with Katie and Sarah? Who else is going to go with you and Sarah? Sarah's mom is going to take us. What about Sarah's little brother? Is he going to go? No, he's gone to visit his grandmother today. Two, what time will Katie be home? And what time will you be home? Well, it's ten o'clock now, so we'll probably get there at about twelve o'clock. And we'll want to have a few hours to play, so I don't think we'll be home until half past six. Is that okay? Yes, it's the weekend, so that's fine. Three. 
What's the weather like today? It's very sunny today. It's a great day for the beach. Yes, it's very hot as well, so drink lots of water, won't you? I will. I can't believe how sunny it is after all the rain and wind we've had this week. I know. I got wet in the rain yesterday, and I'll get wet in the sea today. Yes. Four. What is Katie going to wear? What are you going to wear, Katie? I want to wear my purple and pink spotted dress. Yes. Good idea. Where is it, Dad? I put it in your cupboard next to your striped shorts. Okay, I'll go and get it. Thanks. Five. What snack is Katie going to take? Can I take a snack to the beach? Yes, of course. What would you like to take? Um, can I take some chocolate? No, we don't have any. How about some apples? Sarah doesn't like apples. Can I take some cookies? Okay, you can take the cookies we made yesterday. Great! I can't wait. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. This is a great picture. Can I color it? Of course you can. What would you like to color first? The pyramid. Okay. Make it yellow. Can you see the yellow pyramid? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. What shall I color now? Can you see the two flags at the back of the picture? Yes. Shall I color the big one or the small one? Color the big one blue. Okay. Can I write something now? Yes, OK. Do you remember the pyramid that you coloured? Yes, I do. It's very big. Yes, it is. Could you write the word big on the pyramid? No problem. Can I write something else? No, let's do some more colouring now. There's a man on a camel. Yes, I can see him. Can you colour his hat pink? OK, that's easy. Can I write something else now? Yes, OK. Look at the little boy at the front of the picture with the toy cars. He's got a T-shirt with words on it. But one word is missing. I love... Can you see that? Yes, I can. But I don't know what the missing word is. It's cars. It should say, I love cars. Can you write the word cars for me? OK, I'll do that now. Five. And last, would you like to colour one of the goats? 
Yes, but which one? The one in front of the camel? No, don't colour that one. Colour the one at the back, under the flags. What colour shall I use? I think red is a good colour for that goat. Yes, the picture looks good now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Now listen to part five again. One. What shall I colour now? Can you see the two flags at the back of the picture? Yes. Shall I colour the big one or the small one? Colour the big one blue. OK. Two. Can I write something now? Yes, OK. Do you remember the pyramid that you coloured? Yes, I do. It's very big. Yes, it is. Could you write the word big on the pyramid? No problem. Three. Can I write something else? No, let's do some more colouring now. There's a man on a camel. Yes, I can see him. Can you colour his hat pink? OK, that's easy. Four. Can I write something else now? Yes, OK. Look at the little boy at the front of the picture with the toy cars. He's got a T-shirt with words on it. But one word is missing. I love... Can you see that? Yes, I can. But I don't know what the missing word is. It's cars. It should say, I love cars. Cars. Can you write the word cars for me? OK, I'll do that now. Five. And last, would you like to colour one of the goats? Yes, but which one? The one in front of the camel? No, don't colour that one. Colour the one at the back, under the flags. What colour shall I use? I think red is a good colour for that goat. Yes, the picture looks good now, doesn't it? Yes, it does. That is the end of the A2 Flyers listening test. Test 1.